Plant cells are eukaryotic cells that differ in several key respects from the cells of other eukaryotic organisms. One of their distinct features is their cell wall. The cell wall is a lipid bilayer that forms the outer boundary of the cell. The main function of the cell wall is to act as a pressure vessel, preventing overexpansion when water enters the cell. Although the material of the cell wall varies depending on species, it serves the same purpose. As we move further into the cell, you'll notice very important differences between the animal cell and this plant cell. Starting just under the cell wall, there is an additional wall-like structure called the cell plasma membrane. The cell membrane is selectively permeable to ions and organic molecules protecting the cell from outside forces. The cell membrane has complete control over the movement and substances in and out of the cell. Underneath the cell membrane is a thick layer of cytoplasm. The cytoplasm is a gel-like substance that holds all of the cell's substructures and organelles. It is within the cytoplasm that most cellular activities occur, such as many metabolic pathways and cell division. In the cytoplasm, the organelle that takes up most of the cell's space is the vacuole. The vacuole is an enclosed vessel that contains mostly water and enzymes. The vacuole is in charge of maintaining pressure and turgor within the cell. The vacuole is also helps maintain an acidic internal pH level. Since plants and algae do not obtain energy from other organisms, an organelle supplies energy to the cell by converting energy from the sun into usable energy by the cell with a process called photosynthesis. The organelle is called chloroplast and is located within the cytoplasm of the cell. The apparatus that is in charge of packaging and sending proteins is located just away from the endoplasmic reticulum. The Golgi complex is particularly important in the processing of proteins for secretion. The mitochondrion are sometimes described as the power plants of the cell because they generate most of the cells adosine triphosphate, used as a source of chemical energy. The mitochondrion lie in the cytoplasm just away from the Golgi apparatus. The endoplasmic reticulum are eukaryotic organelles that form an interconnected network of tubules and vessels. The endoplasmic reticulum curves itself around the nucleus and comes into two forms, rough and smooth. The organelles may seem similar, but they are truly very different. The rough endoplasmic reticulum is studded with ribosomes giving it a rough appearance, whereas the smooth endoplasmic reticulum has several functions. This reticulum not only synthesizes lipids and steroids, but is attached to the nuclear envelope. This allows the transfer of ribosomes. Ribosomes are an important component of cells that assembles the 20 specific amino acid molecules to form the particular protein molecule determined by the nucleotide sequence of an RNA molecule. The nucleolus produces ribosomes and releases them to the rough endoplasmic reticulum. As depicted, there are a significant amount of ribosomes attached to the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Lysosomes are another holder of enzymes in the cell. Located within the cytoplasm, the lysosomes break down waste and other cellular debris. The nucleolus is surrounded by a nuclear envelope and is the control center of the cell. The nucleus is also in charge of producing and storing the RNA and DNA molecules.